MZRFXB, XB, welcome to my channel. We're on the Open Spot 4 and it works really well and it looks, it's a bit heavier. I think it's got a better battery, faster processor and uh, it just, I think it's good. Uh, it's identical size, I would say, to the Open Spot 3. So we're looking at profiles and setting up profiles. Now normally the way we would connect once logged in, we would just click quick setup here on the bottom right. And if we're on a D-Star radio, we would select that first. Then we would decide where we want to go with it. So if we want to say go to Brandmeister, we'd click that. And then we'd to select where we want it to go, say worldwide, and then we'd connect. That's the quick way of doing it. Open spot. And you can hear that in the background. Or we can use profiles, which is like a pre a pre setup way of doing it. So let's show you how to do that. Go settings and scroll down and you'll see I've already made some profiles here. So the part you want to look at is the profile name first. So for example, I've got one here that says D star to CQ UK on profile four. So what we do is we'll change the profile four by hitting the small gray square, gray square here, number four, and then we'll click change. Okay. Now, once it does change, we can then we can now actually tell it what we want it to do now, and it will save it. So, give that a minute to change over. <clears throat> there you go. So, we can now sort of tell it what we want it to do. Let's just say we want it to be D star. We can set the frequency of our D star radio, which on mine is four three three dot five five zero. Uh, and then we we want it to go to say Brandmeister. So Brandmeister, and the server we're going to use is United Kingdom two three four one. We do need our our password, you know, otherwise it's not going to work. Our Brandmeister password. You get that from Brandmeister Self Care. And then say we want it to connect to worldwide. We click connect, and then now that will be memorized. So whenever you go into settings here and you say to it, change to profile four, it will do that. See, uh, so we're already on profile four. So let's check, let's do, let's show you how we added a new one. So we, for example, we'll go to profile six here under profile names. We'll delete it. And let's just say we're going to do uh, C4 FM radio two. And let's say we're going to do um, reflector zero one Charlie. Okay, so we've named it. We'll just click save. So it's C four FM to reflector one. So now what we want to do is change to uh, profile six. So we click it here. Select profile six C four FM to one Charlie. Click change. Now it won't do it yet because we need to tell it what, using the quick setup system. So give that a minute to change over. And the idea behind this is that you can use different radios, different mode radios, D-Star, DMR, uh, Fusion. You can, you, can, uh, you can actually use different, I'm pretty sure you can actually use different core signs and different frequencies as well. Anyway, so here, so here it asks for the core sign. So I'm going to put my core sign in, M0FXB. Uh, it finds my DMR ID. We'll click Save. And so remember, we were going to go from C4FM. So that's the C4FM radio. Now the C4FM frequency on mine is 438.575. Okay, and we wanted it to go to, to a D star frequency of reflector 30 Charlie. So we go to re reflector XRF here, click that. And now we're gonna select which reflector. So we click the gray square and we said, I think, did we say 30 or oh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do zero one, okay. 01 and then we'll reflect module C. This is quite important. And then we'll hit connect. Give that a minute. When it connects, it will sound out. You can see the frequencies we've told it to do here. Look, we've told it to go 438575. There it goes. That's my Yesu FT5. And we've told it to go to reflector one Charlie, which is what we're connected to now. Now you can actually command the radio to do this for you by putting in a certain command for fusion, for DMR, 
and Vadistar. And I'm going to link in a video that I made all about that in this video. So pretty much that's how, how you set up profiles. You firstly name them by changing the name here and save. Okay. Then you go to the top and you select which one you want to go to, which one you're going to go to. So say it's one you've just changed, like say profile seven here. You could click the gray square, click seven, and then you use the quick setup system to select which radio you're going to use and where it's going to go. And then you sit and that's it. And once you've done that, it will save that configuration. Now, I, I hardly ever use this. So if someone wants to correct me on any of this, go ahead. But this is my understanding of it. But for me, the easiest and the quickest way is quick setup. But if you haven't got access to a PC, laptop or smartphone and you're just holding your phone and you've got your open spot four, three in your pocket, I get it because you can just pick up whichever radio you want to use, put in the correct commands and your open spot will do as it's told. And that's got to be a good thing. So thanks for watching my video and catch you on air. Open spot four, seven, three, all the best.